Hey guys, so this video I am going to be talking about gifts for like new, like cr cr Christians who are new to the faith. Um, just because I feel that, just because of my kind of um, journey and stuff, um, I feel that, you know, maybe it's kind of, it will help some people. So um, the gifts are going to focus on things that are going to help you on your journey. Um, I'm not going to be talking like... As a Christian, we shouldn't be like into like materialistic things. I, I'm not judging anyone, but um, you don't really need about twenty different Bibles anyway. <laughs> Again, I'm not here to judge, but I'm just making a point that I'm gonna focus on stuff that's actually gonna help a new Christian through their journey. So. First thing, when it comes to a Bible, so first off, most churches, I know, in the UK anyway, if a person joins a church and they don't have a Bible, they usually, they will usually give you one for free, um, usually, I, honestly, I don't really know, like, every church and stuff, usually though, if they don't, um, then obviously that's something that you could, you know, talk to them about, I won't go ahead and buy one necessarily as such if that makes any sense because translations there's so many different translations and different translations are going to work for different people like for example i can say this quietly because i don't know if they do it but i got my brother an nlb for christmas just because i know that is gonna suit him because his like learning difficulties and stuff i feel that nlb NLV is going to be easier for him to understand. So there's different kind of translation translations and stuff. What I usually say to new people, which I said to my mom, download the Bible app and play around with the different versions. And she was like, no, I'm not doing that. Not digital. Like even if you're against digital, I advise just downloading it just to look at the different translations and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't necessarily go ahead and buy one straight away. Just find out what translations they like or if they're after a typical one you know what i mean like you'll ask questions and stuff without like making it obvious if that makes any sense next thing is a notepad like loads of notepads and loads of pens now <laughs> not everyone is somebody who highlights um in their like bible that's another thing as well if there's somebody who likes to highlight and stuff maybe get them a um study bible so a study bible is basically has room for you to like write notes on anyway going off topic <laughs> but not everyone does that sort of thing i don't i literally just add tabs of basically um passages that like stand out for me so things of knowledge things that ha like comfort me offer hope that sort of thing um I don't write directly in the Bible just because I just it's just a thing that I have with all books. I don't like writing them unless it's literally specifically for writing in. In but technically a Bible, what I just don't. <laughs> I just write it in a notepad. So because not everyone's that sort of thing, just get like notepads, pens. If they are that kind of thing, then get them like highlight set, highlight a set and stuff like that. But pens and notebooks definitely. Now, on the topic of tabs, so what you can get, which makes life a lot easier, is tabs that have, like, say, Matthew, Proverbs, basically all the um, books um, in the Bible. And so when you, so they stick out basically like this. So if you want to go to Matthew, you can see it, Matthew, and go straight to it. So it makes it a little bit easier um, to find um, a particular book, gospel, um, some people don't like that, they want to kind of explore it and stuff, it just makes it a lot easier, as I said, it depends on who you're, you know, buying it for, um, but yeah, that's another idea. <laughs> Next one is jewellery, I know that's kind of not necessarily gonna, like, help the journey, but jewellery is like an easy one to go for. Um, just take into account who you're giving it to. You may be giving it to somebody who can't really go boldly in faith because of family and stuff like that. You could get them um, jewellery again. You just have to be a bit careful. Get them jewellery, not necessarily cross, but like fish. Um, the um, knowledge, uh, the tree, the tree of knowledge. I think that's what it's called. Maybe not. Um, because I'm not really 
um i'm not really not knowledgeable on all the symbols that are from the bible which represent jesus which you can wear which isn't so obvious but again just you know obviously you'll know anyway to be fair if you know that person um well but again i thought of chuck and jewelry again you could have clothes with kind of um you know um passages from the bible again um it depends on how boldly they are and faith some people aren't at that level yet so i'd probably avoid something like that but you know like lace a bracelet something like that or a bra bracelet with um a bible passage on it um another thing as well is bookmarks bookmarks so depending on what bible they have most bibles literally just have the standard like bookmark thing and if you're like me who kind of does videos does posts on instagram i like to mark off you know passages and stuff other than you know just the passage that the page that i'm currently on and reading and i read as well in general and sometimes all my bookmarks are in them these books and i don't have any bookmarks so get them bookmarks it's really helpful these ones are from eden which i recommend looking on eden because they have really good like um christian like gifts and stuff and other like supplies and everything but these are like magnetic bookmarks and these ones have um verses from the from the bible but they're super small as well so that's useful as well so they're not like sticking out and stuff um but yeah that's basically it for this video as i said it's more of oh not yet i forgot one more thing so you can get books as well that are like based on christianity and stuff the thing I will say is stay away from books that are more on fantasy than factual. So things like Dante's, um, what's it called again? Divine Comedy, I think it is. Like stay away from books like the Divine Comedy. Um, it's fine to read them, obviously. You know, taking into account that that one is mostly on fantasy. Um and other books as well there's another one i recommend um but again it's kind of it's more factual than fantasy but again you want to kind of stick to more of them like learning the truth of the bible and after a few months yeah get them into kind of because they, they are interesting to read but for a newbie i would kind of stay away from kind of fantasy kind of realm books like that if that makes any sense um but yeah, that is basically it for the video. So as I said, it was more so towards people helping them in their journey that might help them. Um, so opposed to kind of like stuff like, like, because I could have easily said like, like wall plaques, stuff like that, calendars with, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. But I wanted to kind of stick to more so things that will help them when it comes to like studying the Bible and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it for this video, so bye.